So this video we'll look at the electrophilic addition mechanism for alkanes reacting with hydrogen halos to make halogen alkanes. Again, you can see it's an addition reaction because we have one product. Um, let's just look at an example. We'll go for propene because it's uh, an asymmetric alkene. Um, I'll draw it that way around this time. Just show you that there are many ways in which we can draw a mechanism. So let's start off. We have got my propene molecule. I've got a region of electron density that's going to attract any uh, delta positive or positive species, which may then accept a pair of electrons. They are electrophiles. Hydrogen halides are already polar molecules because the halogen is more electronegative than hydrogen, the electron cloud is pulled towards the uh, well, pair of electrons in the shared bond, uh, is pulled towards the halogen. So the halogen is delta negative and the hydrogen is delta positive. That means that the hydrogen end of this molecule will be attracted towards the region of high electron density, the pi bond, or the double bond, four electrons right here, the pi bond sticking out um, nicely. What's going to happen? We're going to open the double bond, we're going to break the pi bond, and we're going to end up forming a bond to a hydrogen and a halogen. One of these carbon atoms is more likely to gain the hydrogen and the other more likely to gain the halogen. If we just look at my electrophile coming in again and see what would happen. If the hydrogen forms a bond to the carbon on the end. This would have three carbon, this would have this carbon will then have three hydrogens and my carbocation will be on the middle carbon. That will be a secondary carbocation that's very stable. So more likely to form. It's stable because of the electron pushing positive inductive effect of alkyl groups on both sides pushing in towards it to stabilize it. If however, the hydrogen was added to this middle carbon, I would have a primary carbocation formed in my mechanism that's less stable, so less likely to form. So I know that in the majority of the collisions between propene and the hydrogen halide, the hydrogen is going to form a bond to this carbon. So when I draw the position of my hydrogen halide, I'm going to draw it coming closer to the carbon that it's going to bond to first. According to Markovnikov's rule, the hydrogen goes to the carbon that already has the most hydrogens, yada, yada, yada. So let's just draw that here. So I know my hydrogen is more likely for my major product going to form a bond to this carbon on the end. So I will draw it close to it. It's bonded to a halogen. This molecule is polar, delta positive, delta negative. In the mechanism, a pair of electrons is going to come from the covalent bond, the double bond, to form a bond between the carbon and the hydrogen. So whichever way you want to draw it, you can either come out and around or you can come down like this. I'll come down like that. There we go. So I've got a pair of electrons from the double bond coming down to form a bond between the hydrogen and the carbon. That then causes the hydrogen-halogen bond to break. If I follow those arrows through, I still have all of these uh, species still bonded together. The carbon on the end has gained the hydrogen. You don't have to draw them in different colors in your exam, I'm just drawing them so you can see them more clearly. And I have a secondary carbocation stabilized by the electron pushing alkyl groups on both sides, stabilizing it, the positive inductive effect. And I also have my halide. Now I'm gonna draw my halide. I'm not gonna draw it down here because it's far away. I'm gonna draw my halide over here, put a lone pair of electrons. It's got a negative charge. There it is, the pair of electrons, this lone pair is going to form a bond to the carbocation to form my major product. 
and this major product, as I've said a few times, forms because the more stable secondary carbocation forms preferentially, forms more often than the primary halo uh, carbocation. You could obviously uh, be asked to draw a mechanism for the minor product, um, but that's a bit weird. All you'd have to do, if you were going to do that, is you would have to just shift that over here, have your primary carbocation, and then your halogen or alkene snapping in. So what do I have here? I have propene. CH3, CH, CH2, um, it reacted with hydrogen halide, whatever the hydrogen halide was, in an addition reaction to give me my major product of the two halo. plus some one halo propane as your minor product. Because this alkene here is asymmetrical. 